Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Pagherwal. Welcome to Salesforce Flow Builder Series. In this video, I will talk about formula and text template resources and flow builder. So let's get started. First, I'm gonna create a formula. So I will select the resource type as formula and I'm giving it a name as some formula. Data type, I'm keeping it as text. Now let's try to build some formula here. So let's say uh, I'm going to use the if condition initially. So as you can see, uh, it has three uh, values. One would be your first would be your logic and second would be if that logic is true, then what value it's going to return? That should be your text because data type of this formula you have kept as text. So that should return a text value. So let's try to uh, build something. Uh, so I am selecting the account record from which this flow is starting. And let's say the industry of account okay so first thing because industry is a pick list to value so i would need to use the is pick well function here i need to provide the pick list field that would be our industry and text literal so i'm keeping it as electronics so if the uh, accounts industry is electronics then i am returning true because why i'm returning true first i should be returning the text but i'm gonna make uh, a different kind of formula here which would be kind of uh, all these Two, three conditions I'm going to put that would be inside the end operator. So that means it should return something like false or true. And at last, I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use wrap up all those things in last if. And there I'm going to return some text. Okay. So if account industry is electronics, this if condition is going to return true. Otherwise, it's going to return false. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to put more conditions and all those conditions I'm going to put inside the end operator. That means all those conditions should be true. So first condition is this if condition. OK, second condition should be, uh, let's say. Again, I'm going to use a speak well. And the field which I'm going to use that would be counts active pick list that has two values yes or no so i'm gonna say if it is yes and the last thing which i'm gonna look for that is organization country if it is equal equals to us so if all these things are true, then I am going to return something. So for that, I am putting the if and if not, then some text. OK, so I'm just saying if all these conditions are matching, then I'm going to say all good. And if it doesn't match, then not good. OK, now let's check our syntax. So the syntax is valid. There is no syntax error. Now let's save it. So basically, what is the meaning of this formula? So it's going to come inside the first if and it's going to check if the record uh, accounts industry is electronics, then it, this condition would be true. That is fine. Then it will go to the next condition. If active pick list value of the account is yes, then that is also true. Then it's going to go to the organization country. If your company's country is US, then it's going to return all good. 
and if any of these condition doesn't meet match then it's going to return not good value okay so now let's see it in action so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this uh, formula inside my email body so here i'm going to use double curly braces and exclamation mark and i'm going to just give the name of that formula save it now before uh, debugging it let's see for the record which we are going to test so for this is an account here industry is electronics active is yes and my company information i have opened where the country is us okay the country is us now let's see that means all conditions are meeting so all good should be returned from the from this formula so this is our sent email so as you can see it is having hello visitor this is all good test email okay now let's manipulate one value here so i'm just changing this active to no now let's debug it again for the same account and okay so now the value is changed to not good hello mister this is not good test email so that means one of the conditions is not meeting so that's how you can configure formula conditions can differ based upon your scenarios based upon your uh, need and there are many many functions that are available as you can see there are lots of lots of functions are there for you to use to get what you exactly need in terms of logic things and there are several math functions available as well advanced functions also are there so all those things are available inside the inside the flow builder itself for you to use now next thing uh, i will talk about uh, the text uh, template so uh, let's say if you would like to concatenate uh, some strings or some variables or constants or uh, uh, you want to prepare some static text to be used in uh, your screen or in email body or somewhere then you can make use of text template so i'm just going to use So let's say I have created one constant and uh, one variable. I'm going to concatenate both of these. So for that, first I'm gonna select some constant here, and then I'm gonna select some variable here. Click done. Now I would be using it inside the body of the email so instead of both of these one constant and one variable i'm just going to use this text template and click done now let's debug it so as you can see uh, the string is coming but there are some html tags also coming so for that there is one thing you need to select here go back to the template and here there is an option that view as rich text or view as plain text so i need to select view as plain text and i need to remove these p html text click done save it again now let's debug it again yeah now you can see the uh, tags are not coming and both the values all together are coming so if you want to prepare some text with uh, 
some resources of flow or some field values they then you can make use of text template in flow builder so that was all about the formulas and text template in flow builder if you find the content helpful please like it and comment on it for more please subscribe my channel as abhishek bagherwal thank you